Hello guys, Zanjay here and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to root MIUI 8 which is based on Android Marshmallow or Android version 6.0.1 and this method will work on almost every Xiaomi device out there. So if you have Redmi 3S Prime, Redmi 2 Prime or Redmi Note 4, then this method is going to work for sure. But for this video purpose, I'm going to use Redmi Note 3 to show the complete process. First of all, you will need to have an unlocked bootloader on your device and if you do not have an unlocked bootloader, then I have already made a separate guide about that. I'll give the link of that in the description box below so do not forget to check it out. And once your device's bootloader is unlocked, we need to flash TWRP recovery. And in order to do that, we need to boot into fast boot mode and to boot into fast boot mode, switch off your device completely and once the device is switched off, hold the volume down button and power button together and once you see fast boot logo over here, just release the buttons. Now connect a USB cable to your phone and to your PC or laptop and now you need to download the ADB folder and I'll give the direct link to download this ADB folder in the description box below so do not worry about that and once you download it open it up and now hold shift button on your keyboard and at the same time press right click on your mouse and you will see something as open command window here just click on that and you will see a black window type fastboot devices and your device should be recognized over here as it is for me. After this, we need to flash the TWRP recovery zip file and for that, I'm going to write a command which is known as fastboot flash recovery space recovery name and for this recovery name, I'm going to copy the TWRP recovery's name and paste it over here and dot .img. Just enter right now and TWRP recovery will be flashed permanently. And this TWRP recovery file will vary according to your device. So just in case if you have MI4, if you have Redmi 3S Prime, then TWRP recovery will be different for your device. So I'll try to give as many links as possible in the description box below or you can simply go onto MIUI website and search for your device space TWRP over here and you should get TWRP recovery for your device. Just make sure that you use TWRP recovery for your specific device only. You cannot flash some other devices TWRP recovery on your device. Once that is done, hold volume up button and power button together unless and until you see MI logo over here. And once you see MI logo, just leave the buttons as it is. And we have booted into TWRP recovery over here. And as you can see, it is asking for some password. And if we enter any password, it is not going to accept. It is going to say it's a wrong password. So what can we do now? Select cancel over here. And if we go into install, you will not be able to see any type of files because the device is encrypted currently. So when the device is encrypted, you will not be able to see any type of files in TWRP recovery. Now go back, go into wipe and select format data over here. This will wipe everything on your device, including apps, data of the apps, internal storage. It will not wipe micro SD card, but everything which is present in internal storage will be wiped. So if you want to back up anything, then make sure you back it up before doing this procedure. And if you want to back up apps and data of the apps, then MIUI's default backup option is more than enough to back up everything. So just use that option move the backup to your PC and uh, once this procedure is done, you can move that backup once again from your PC to phone and restore that backup and all the apps and data of the apps will be restored once again or you can restore that. And if you do not need that or want to start your device freshly, then you can directly wipe everything. Once the format is done, go into reboot over here, select recovery and uh, the device will reboot into recovery mode. And once the device boots into TWRP recovery now, it will start showing internal storage of your device on your PC. And just in case if you do not get it, or uh, in my case, in my Windows 10, I do not get it. So I go into device manager, I right click on Redmi Note 3, then going to update driver, select drivers manually, select Android device over here and select MTP USB device. Once I do that, internal storage starts showing up over here and uh, now copy the lazy flashes zip file and the super SU zip file into the internal storage of your device. And once the zip files are copied, go back to your device, select install over here, select super SU zip file, select swipe to confirm flash. Once the super SU zip file is flashed, go back and select lazy flasher zip file and select swipe to confirm flash over here. And once the lazy flasher zip file is flashed, you can simply reboot your device. And once that is done, you have a rooted device. And while booting up, your device may get stuck at this MI and Android logo over here. And uh, if it doesn't boot for next 5 to 10 minutes, then hold the power button once again and reboot your device as I had to do over here. And then the device will boot into system. And as you can see, the device has booted up and I'll have to set up everything. So let me just set up and we'll be back and we'll check if the device is rooted or not. So I have installed the root checker application to check whether the device is rooted or not. 
and as you can see it is asking for super su permissions and uh, as soon as i grant it it will say the device is rooted so we have successfully rooted redmi note 3 which is based on android marshmallow and as i said earlier this method will work on almost every xiaomi device out there if you have any types of doubts suggestions or queries regarding this guide then let me know about that in the comment section below i'll surely try to answer your queries and if you are worried how to update your device after rooting then i have already made a separate guide on that i'll give the link of that in the description box below or you can just click on the i button over here and you can watch that video and just in case if you want to remove the root access and want to flash stock rom on your device then i have already made a separate video on that too i'll give the link of that once again in the i button over here or in the description box below and i have already made tons of videos on redmi note 3 which should be able to solve every doubt that you have about this device i'll give the playlist link in the description box below so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if If you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because many more awesome videos on Redmi Note 3 and many Xiaomi devices are going to come real soon so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching